Hi, this is Yaroslav, and uh, you are watching one of the uh, one of the many screencasts that I'm going to be putting putting together over the next couple of uh, uh, weeks uh, on SharePoint 2013 Preview. So today, in this particular screencast, I wanted to review you know the uh, the team site and and some of the major components when you start up your SharePoint 2013. So um, I'm using uh, CloudShare. Uh, uh, Pro uh, for this particular screencast, and uh, you know, and this particular machine has um, uh, eight gigs of RAM. It's to totally sufficient for SharePoint, SharePoint 2013 uh, development environment. So, uh, one of the things, first things that comes out right away is this, uh, you know, central administration uh, and uh, the first initial team site that was created for you. So, central administration looks pretty much the same. There's some of the things we can probably expect to change, like some of those icons here, uh, but it looks very similar to 2010. Uh, obviously, obviously, some of the uh, administration functions are going to change as new functionality will be uh, rolled out to us. But it, all in all, we go to application management you know system settings um, all of those things are actually same pages as 20 as 2010 had so there's a couple of new things such as apps right there's a whole new concept of apps and app store and how that's going to be you know managed and licensed and all that so one of the biggest complaints that was out there um, is that central administration and it doesn't really is not really the same thing as, as regular SharePoint sites. So folks were complaining about the fact that they can't customize the page and stuff like that. So your uh, your 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 wishes are now are, you know granted. So um, now you've got uh, you know browse and a and a page view where you can edit the page and, and customize things and stuff like that. So some of the out of the box collaboration capability has been added to central administration. Now let's take a look at the team site. So team site this is a team site, right? So, uh, important thing to keep in mind is, uh, you know, it's uh, it's so first thing you're gonna you're gonna ask just as as you would probably ask uh, in, in previous versions is how wh where is the site settings? So site is, site settings moved back to the right now. It's not the focal point of the uh, of the whole uh, site anymore, and it's this little icon here, right? So right beside your name, there's this icon where you can add a page uh, and uh, you know add an app. Uh, so so important thing is that everything is an app right now. So uh, lists and libraries, former lists and libraries are now apps, right? So um, and you know when you want to add when you want to add let's say uh, a calendar. Right, it's not no longer considered a list. It's it's an app, right? It's a calendar app. So there's a document library app, uh, tasks app, custom list app, also called as a, as app. So um, so so those are some of the things to keep in mind. So for instance, if I want to add a um, add a calendar, um, I can I can add it like this. It gives me more details. Um, so you can as a developer as uh, you expect when you're going to be customizing your sites uh, and adding lists and, and, and such and web parts, uh, keep in mind that they're they're going to be available to users in the form of an app. So I'm trying to add here a calendar and obviously something is going wrong. So sorry something went wrong error comes up. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go back to my team site and uh, try to do some other functionality like editing this particular uh, team site page. So one of the, so, you know, is again the same sort of a uh, loose uh, wiki editing format is preserved here. I can uh, basically uh, edit and add content wherever I feel like. Right, this is really a wiki page. When I'm ready, I just click save and close. Some of the other things uh, here is uh, the full screen or the tablet view, um, which basically gets rid of all the extraneous content. And it's actually a pretty cool feature because I remember lots of my clients asked for you know, sort of a, give them more of a tablet look and feel. And that's started being more apparent in the past year or so. People were, a lot more people were getting tablets and trying to use SharePoint on their tablet. And there's just too many menus that were, like, you know, in here, it's not a big deal that this takes half of your screen or a quarter of your screen, right? But if I'm using really a, you know, a tablet, this this is really half of my screen. So by, uh, you know, there's this feature available or focus on content feature that allows you kind of to, um, get rid of all the extraneous stuff and just focus on really on content. So, um, you know, uh, 
one one of the other things that I wanted to also point out is the uh, the whole usability around uh, you know document sharing and adding a document is, is, has been a little bit improved. So here I have an ability to um, add a document right from my file system. But one of the things that I can do also I can and that's something that I've been asked before uh, by multiple users is how do you easily just drag and drop stuff? So it's like this now. So very easy, you just drag and drop. Um, if you've seen this particular functionality is available in Dropbox. And what's good about it is that really without any effort, I can just drag and drop multiple documents here. So I don't have to worry about you know clicking upload multiple and going to the ribbon. So the ribbon is still here, right? You can probably see there is the rumors that ribbon is going to be gone are gone because the ribbon is still here, right? But it's lesser of a lesser of a focus on a ribbon so which is actually a pretty smart move if you think about users you know just as, apart from just cutting off the functionality uh, like the start menu on the Windows 2012 server is completely cut off rather than cutting off the functionality I'd much rather prefer um, refocus my you know refocus to something else and then give up that functionality gradually rather than just not have it available it would be really frustrating so I'm glad that that frustration is uh, um, is 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 you know is uh, has been um, resolved by using that particular um, approach. So um, accessing the context menu is not really too apparent. There's this three dots here where you can uh, just access the content menu of the uh, of the uh, particular item, and that uh, you know it gives you some of the basic capabilities here. We'll talk about some of those later on in the next screencast, but. Some you click on more again, and it gives you standard things like editing properties and stuff like that, and uh, um, and and basically similar sort of cleaner UI, very much like actual Office. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you uh, around uh, the, some of the basic functionality of the site. As you can see, there's uh, a lot more shortcuts right on the home page here for the team side. You can use that, or you can use the site actions menu. Um, things like sharing the site, uh, you know, syncing with offline, um, and then making some of the basic um, customizations like adding a logo and stuff. You can remove those once you're done, um, but then always have it available from the settings. All of the functionality is available from the settings. So we'll take a look at a couple of other um, site templates as, as we go, but hopefully this, this gives you a good sort of uh, comparison what's what's out there. Um, and what to expect. Uh, thanks again for watching and um, uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next couple of screencasts. Again, this was Yaroslav and you can find more stuff on SharePoint 2013 Preview at uh, uh, sharemunch.com. Thank you.